The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that, he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. There is a phrase that you hear more and more in the news, on television. The phrase is identity politics. And what do people mean by this phrase? They mean that there are people now who identify with some particular group. It might be racial or ethnic or sexual or philosophical or political or religious. And they make all their decisions based on that identity. In fact, you can almost predict what they're going to say. And this is actually at the heart of the gospel today. I meet many Catholics today who say to me, you know, I don't actually identify myself with the Catholic faith. What are they saying? I sometimes ask young people, tell me 20 things about yourself. Go ahead, tell me 20 things, and they'll do it. They'll go, well, I, I like pizza, and I'm a fan of this or that sports team, and they go through the list. And if they go through the list of 20 items and they never mention that they are Catholic, I ask myself, what's going on here? Why do these young people identify themselves with many other things, but not with their Catholic faith? And of course, it's not only the young people, it's those of us of every age. In Jesus Christ, he's really clever here. I hope you appreciated what he did here. He's got these people trying to test him over this issue, and they're very clever because they know that if they can split him with the Roman authorities, they've got him. And in fact, you know the rest of the story. That's why ultimately he was arrested. That's why ultimately he was crucified. But Jesus says, all right, let me see the coin whose image is stamped on it. And then he turns around and says, fine. If you've got coins stamped with Caesar's image on it, you got to give them to Caesar. But if you... If you have been stamped with the image and likeness of God, guess who you belong to? And sadly, so many Catholics today walk this earth not sure who they belong to, not sure whom they identify with. Many Catholics are going through a great identity crisis. And Jesus Christ wants to say to you, do not forget 
who you've been stamped with. You know, sometimes people get a little dodgy about this. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with Jesus. <laughs> Big deal. Everybody's cool with Jesus. Have you noticed? People that say they're like, they like Jesus, some of them go on to say everything exactly opposite of what Jesus teaches. That's a little slippery. I like to get more specific. How are you with your Catholic faith? Do you identify with that? And again, many Catholics say, ah, no, no, I'm not sure. Fast forward. It's Judgment Day. And there you are before the Lord. And he says, who do you really belong to? And you go, ah, mm, wrong answer. Who do you belong to? Because today, so many Catholics say, I want to belong to myself. Now, of all the dumb things to say, if you have a choice between living for Jesus Christ and his gospel and his truth and his teachings and his grace, or living for yourself, who are you choosing to identify with in your decisions, in your everyday activities? Jesus Christ says, if you have been stamped with God and his image and likeness, you belong to him. Or to put it even more bluntly, he possesses you. And too many Catholics today are living in a state of rebellion towards the one who made them. They actually think they're smarter than God. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give to people whatever they're owed. But if you were created and redeemed by Jesus Christ, you know who to give yourself to. Never be ashamed of being a Catholic. Never be ashamed of identifying with your Catholic faith. I meet people who say, oh, but you know, Father, all these screwballs and perverts and criminals in the church, all... Duh, have you read the 2,000 years of the Catholic Church? Duh, have you read the Bible for the earliest years of the Catholic Church? Duh, who was sitting around the Last Supper? Were all 12 of them goody-goodies? Even Jesus had a Judas. Don't dodge the issue. Jesus Christ was not ashamed on the cross to identify with us. He identified with you. You have been stamped in the image and likeness of God. Who do you belong to? Who do you belong to?